Aloha! Welcome to Chappie's Tiki Bar. This episode, I'm going to take the classic Hawaiian dish, the Loco Moco, and turn it into an appetizer for Appies with Chappie by the lake. So sit back, relax, and pull up a chair. We saved you a seat at Chappie's Tiki Bar. Chappie's Tiki Bar now has a second location. A little place I like to call the internet. Aloha, welcome to Chappie's Tiki Bar. Uh, we got a great episode today. I'm going to make a loco moco appetizer. Uh, if you don't know what a loco moco is, um, it's a wonderful comfort food that they have in Hawaii. It's uh, basically sort of like a hangover food that you might have for breakfast. It's a white rice uh, hamburger patty with a sunny side egg and it's smothered in gravy. It looks like a dog's breath breakfast, but it's the best thing you'll ever eat for a hangover. So I'm going to try to uh, do that in an appetizer form. And we're going to have that for Appy with Chappie by the lake. This lake here, Lake Okanagan. I'm going to do a quick drink. Um, I'm just going to do a Italian soda and gin. But we're going to make it tiki because I'm going to put it in my tiki mug. Lots of ice. And I got a little tankery. And I got a nice uh, San Pellegrino Lemonata Italian soda. These things are great on their own. All right, that's my uh, tiki drink, quote unquote. All right, so I'm gonna get started on those appetizers and we're gonna have Appies with Chappie by the lake. Coming right up. Come on now, Mookie, you ain't nothing but a hound dog. This is Appies with Chappy by the lake. We're gonna have appetizers and a cool, refreshing drink. Come on now, Mookie, don't be cruel. Thank you. Thank you very much. Aloha, welcome to Appies with Chappy by the lake. Uh, today, for an appetizer, I have Loco Moco in appetizer form with quail eggs. See here how I made them. So, I have the 80 20 ground beef that's 80% lean. 20% uh, fat, just adding an egg. And I got some already seasoned Italian breadcrumbs. And I uh, caramelized some onions. Uh, they're going to add a nice sweetness. And this is just a basic uh, burger recipe here. I'm going to use for my mini locomocos. And I have some ranch dry seasoning. Uh, that's my secret to my burgers. And a little who's your sister sauce. Uh, that's just some white rice on the side there I'll use later. And uh, you don't want to over mix your burger uh, just incorporate everything and mix that egg around so it uh, sticks together. So I got this uh, gadget here, um, it's uh, cast iron, um, but it's, uh, I think you're supposed to put like a pancake in it and make like little pancake balls, uh, but I'm going to make little meat nests. So I'm just going to put, put them in the uh, molds there and then I'm going to do like an indentation so it's like a nest and it's going to... Uh, be like a reservoir for my nice brown gravy. You can get a loco moco uh, all over Hawaii. It's a super popular. Um, the best loco moco I ever had was uh, the Rainbow Drive-In in Honolulu. 
Um, and it's quite famous. Uh, they actually shot an episode of Magnum PI there. And I'm just adding some Japanese uh, sticky rice. That's what they use in Locomocos. And it's going to soak up all that beef fat. It's going to be real nice. So that's my uh, quail eggs. I'm going to do little uh, baby eggs to go on my little appetizers. They're so cute. The shells are quite thick. They're hard to break. you got to really whack it. And they, if you're wondering, they taste just like regular eggs. <laughs> it's little tiny eggs. So we're going to do those sunny side. And that's going to go on top of my uh, little meat nests. So we're going to check on my uh, meat nests. I got them baking in the oven at uh, 350. Uh, you don't just want to cook them all the way through. And they're almost done. So, first up, we're gonna put the brown gravy. Um, I did a, I, I did my own beef bone stock, and then I make uh, gravy from that. I make a, a big batch of beef, beef bone stock, and then I freeze it, and then do smaller batches of gravy when I need it and that, yeah that gravy's the star of the show you don't want to be shy with that and, and we're just gonna put the little baby quail eggs on top and then we got our loco moco appies You need a drink to go with my loco moco appetizer uh, so I'm just gonna do a really basic one today I'm going to do a pink greyhound now I need vodka for that where did I put my vodka? oh hey there it is all right uh, I have some gray goose um, I have a highball glass full of ice I think it's a highball glass. If you're in the industry and this isn't a highball glass, please leave a comment in the comment section. So I'll stop calling it a highball glass like a jackass. Um, so well, I'm almost done my gray goose. So we're just gonna, ooh, that's a dead soldier. All right, uh, so pink greyhound is just vodka and pink grapefruit juice. And then I just have a little lemon wedge as a garnish. And that's my drink to go with my Loco Moco Appies. Thanks for watching another episode of Chappie's Tiki Bar. Uh, this is Badger substituting for Mookie. Uh, what's that, Badger? Badger says uh, make sure you hit that notification bell. We have a new episode every Friday. Uh, this is Badger and I'm Chappie and we're saying life is hard. That's just the way it goes, but sometimes it goes the other way. See you next time on Chappie's Tiki Bar.